what's new i can see there is a new chapter do you but you answered the question in in your question you have x2 elite then there is x2 extreme is elite not extreme enough or if or extreme not elite enough it's a it's a whole monumental leap when you look at from gen over gen elite is pro and elite extreme is like pro max <laughs> snapdragon is the answer and that is why we are here with our x2 elite architecture so i'm here at the snapdragon summit 2025 where qualcomm has launched new range of chipsets for both smartphones as well as laptops and i'm devish sarkar from hindustan times so i have with me nitin from qualcomm all the way from e from us now before i start talking about laptops and chipsets in general nitin firstly thank you so much for your time and i know you're just waiting for the keynote session to happen thank you so much for accompanying me this uh, video interview now before we start about talking about technology and chipsets there's a lot of thing that is happening in the us you are coming right from us there's a lot about conversations happening on tech talent visas and stuff like that but i just want to know how important is the indian tech talent for qualcomm both in the us as well as outside us very good first of all thank you for your time and thank you for this uh, this call thanks a lot for joining us here at snapdragon summit so really thank you and appreciate uh, appreciate a lot uh with regard to your question uh, the the design of this x2 elite architecture is, is it's it's a global effort we have an incredible talent uh, team uh, here in india we have uh, design centers in bangalore we have software team in hyderabad with other cities uh, other cities as well uh, a lot of the design uh, element for this platform is uh, comes out of india team though it's a global effort it's a global chip okay. right let's talk about pcs let's talk about yes. pcs Snapdragon is a well-known brand for mobile phones. I mean, like when we talk about flagship smartphones, there has to be a premium flagship Snapdragon processor. <clears throat> what is Snapdragon doing in laptops this year? What's what's new? Uh, I can see there is a new chapter over here. But you, you answered the question in in your question. <laughs> okay. Just the way premium Android experience equals Snapdragon, right? We want to give that exact for premium PC experience equals Snapdragon. Snapdragon is the answer, and that is why we are here with our X2 Elite architecture. Now, 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 for our reader as well as for myself. Yes, we are. We we know what laptops are. Okay, we know what they can do and stuff like that. What exactly is an AI PC? Answer me in the most simplest of the way. I mean, I can use ChatGPT on any laptop that's out there, and I can use AI apps as well. What exactly is an AI PC? Incredible question, Devishi, and that's a. I can understand that it's a very genuine question. That what is an AI AI AI, AI PC? Let me let me start with a few examples. Okay, first, Qualcomm is not new to doing AI on a chip. Okay, we have been integrating an AI engine on our chip for smartphones for I think close to a decade, maybe at least nine years or ten years, close to on that. Take simple algorithms that run on your phone today. When you run a camera algorithm and it takes a portrait blur picture, right? In the background, it's using AI. Mm-hmm. think of that level of technology now you can transport that onto pcs but in multitude of applications right. multitude of applications that will run all in the background and significantly enhance your experience let me give you a few examples first we'll start with microsoft copilot plus microsoft uh, has launched an ai framework called copilot plus mm-hmm. as part of windows it has i think about 40 ai models there are ai use cases that are basically running all in the background on qualcomm's npu for windows on snapdragon right. and it's enhancing that experience for you several examples recall click to draw and things right. things like that and uh, now let's talk uh, third party examples adobe suite for the creator applications right. adobe has photoshop lightroom premium pro and these are all natively going to be available on snapdragon and they will have enhanced feature set to leverage the npu of the x elite architecture to provide that added benefit so it's across a bunch of these experiences that significantly improve in the quality of a pc that you expect right now we understand that these are the most powerful chipsets yes for laptops and ai pcs in general but tell me one thing what's with this naming nomenclature i mean like you have X2 Elite. Then there is X2 Extreme. Now we are seeing for the same thing for the mobiles. There is an Elite. There is an Extreme. I'm like, watch. Is Elite not Extreme enough, or if or Extreme not Elite enough? 
What message good, do you want good, to good, ask? Very good, uh, very good uh, point again, Devashish. So, if you go back uh, about 18 months or so, right. uh, maybe about 20 months, when we announced X Elite as a family, right. Snapdragon X is the brand name for the compute family or the laptop product portfolio, and Elite is our flagship product. Mm -hmm. When we launched Snapdragon X Elite uh, in the market, it changed the industry. It provides that flagship level of performance that is like, okay, this is the flagship performance that is driving the market forward. Right. With our X2 architecture or Gen 2 architecture, we have Snapdragon X2 Elite. Right. But because of the feedback that we received from our consumers, from our users, we wanted to drive even higher performance and give a class of users that deserve more, that want more, that deserve more, that need more for whatever they're trying to do. And that's why we added an X to Elite Extreme right. as well. For users that want way more than Elite, we have that option as well. Elite is Pro and Elite Extreme is like Pro Max. <laughs> <laughs> you can call it whichever way. Yeah. Snapdragon X to Elite and X to Elite Extreme. Correct. Now, let's talk about the highlights of this new chipset. I'm like, versus what it was previously. How do you say, I mean, what kind of performance can we expect? I can already see some thin devices and you're promising good battery life as well. Yes. So, please, please so it's, a, it's a whole monumental leap when you look at from gen over gen improvement. Right. You will see improvement across every aspect on how you use, uh, use the laptop. Our X Elite, as I said, redefined the industry and we called it PCV Bond. With X2 Elite, from CPU perspective, it's 40%, close to 40% gen over gen improvement. Right. From uh, multi-thread, that's single thread. From multi-thread perspective, that's close to 50% improvement gen over gen. Right. Graphics, significant improvement. It's close to 2x improvement graphics capability when you compare gen over gen. AI, we moved from 45 tops of on-device AI mm -hmm. NPU to an 80 tops. That's 78, 80% improvement in terms of AI capability. And these are not just numbers. You will actually see user, user experience benefit uh, going from Gen 1 to Gen 2. And more importantly, we're going to do all of that and preserve power. There are battery life improvements going from Gen 1 to Gen 2. And unique form factors that become available. There's one just sitting right here. This is one of the reference designs that we have built. It's a mini PC, we call it. It looks like a it's kitchen scale. Than, I, yeah, it looks like a kitchen scale, exactly. Yeah, pretty thin, right? It is less than a centimeter thin, and uh, oh, I'm uh, glad you're giving the ports at least properly. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's also uh, a sub seven milli millimeter thin uh, tablet as well, right? Full Windows. So, uh, because of the fundamental architecture advantages that we have in our X2 Elite and X2 Elite Extreme architecture. Mm -hmm. uh, it is going to change on the innovative form factors that are possible. Lastly, just one last question. How do you see uh, the Qualcomm powered PC industry growing in India? What kind of response you're getting from the market? And, and yeah, please share some highlights on that as well. No, absolutely. And India is a, is a key market for us. And uh, we have launched multitude, uh, or our OEMs have launched multitude of uh, devices across a variety of those uh, devices right. uh, available in India. You you can walk into a store today and buy a Snapdragon device. Uh, people who have tried the device really rave about the device, rave about the battery life. They're very happy that they can uh, they can have the device last longer and it stays cool and they're able to get their work done because it doesn't bog down in, in the, on the performance metric. So we value the feedback from India customer very heavily and the feedback has been has, has been great. It helps us uh, learn and grow and uh, thank you to India consumers for the, uh, for the feedback. Please keep sharing the feedback right. and uh, we are very, uh, very proud that we are able to deliver to your expectations. So that's right, you heard it, you mind. Not just the Indian consumers, the Indian talent is important from Qualcomm and Qualcomm Absolutely. just wants to put Snapdragon tag the way it did with mobile phones, it just wants to replicate the same for laptops as well. Thank you, Nitin, so much for your time again. It was lovely having you. I'm Divishi Sarkar, signing off for Hindustan Times.